What's going on? You guys building a house or what? Yeah, I work for Carson building. For who? Carson. Okay. This, this stuff here is from a house that's on the other side of the highway. Okay. But the dumps are so high and we're waiting for it to get dumped. So I brought these over here. I can hit it here or the one down there. Is it they're the same company that's doing yeah, it? Carson, yeah. Okay. I mean, you want to go. Do you have your ID on you? Yeah. Let me get my phone real quick. I was looking for one of the signs here, but he don't have one. Here's his number right there, and I'm going to call him right now. Hold, hold, on, hold on, let me just get your ID real quick. You take it out for me. But, what, could I ask why I didn't show my ID? Because it's a construction site. And so, I'm about to prove that to you. Okay. I work here. I understand that. I don't think but I should, I'd rather not show my ID if I don't have to. I mean, I, I know sometimes I have a right not to. Okay, but listen, how can I confirm by talking to somebody through the phone that they're giving you permit. Well, they're over this construction site. It's I a understand. felony to be con trespassing on construction site. So God, I, I just want to make sure. Why do I, you get a bad rap. Uh, harassing people. Yeah, because I'm not going to go through this anymore. So I will go the route of confirming that you're able to be here, but I need to take a look at your driver's license. Okay, well, like I said, you're on a construction site. It's posted with a sign right there, and I'm unable to verify that you're allowed to be here, so I'm investigating a crime. So if you refuse to provide... supervisor, please? No, you can either provide me with an ID, or we can go the route of, a, you know... Of being arrested? That's right. Really? You're on a construction site. I am the assistant to the builder. Okay, but if I don't know who you are, how can I confirm that you're allowed to be here? You said that to the builder too. Look, well, if I'm—is there hours? Is there? Anything? Do you have documentation that you're supposed to be on this property? Why are you uh, uh, harassing me right now? Harassing you? I think Again, you are. It's a construction I'm doing site. My job. L let, let me ask you a question. If that was your material inside that building right there, He's and there were people. Let me ask you a question. If I was yeah. up there. The old Carson. Yeah. Go right there you go. Okay. You see that? Where's Where's the there address? There you go, buddy. They're right there. Yeah, they're right there. You want this address? Here, hold up. No, I'm going to give them that. I want to see your supervisor. Oh, yes, sir. I want to see your driver's license. Nah, I want to see your supervisor. I'm going to give you the address. You want to see the address? Take a look at it. Which street is this? There is the address right here. Okay. Okay. You take that with you. There you go. I'm the assistant okay. to this gentleman. All right. If I was on that roof putting a damn shingle on, would you bother me then? If you're putting Would you bother on? me then? All right, so... Do you want to give I, me your name or not? I would rather see your supervisor first. Okay, that's not going to happen. Really? That's right. I, I hope your body cab's on, right? That's yeah. right. Okay. So what's your name? I'd like to see your supervisor, sir. What company do you work for? Carson. Carson what? Building. Carson Building? Yes, sir. What is this? That's the address of this house right here. Okay. And several houses we're doing, including the one down there. Okay. Okay. I still want to see a supervisor, and I am going to see it. I know what I know. I know what I'm talking about. What's your name? I'd like, again, I'd rather see the supervisor. I'd rather not tell you anything. I'd, I'd rather not speak to a police officer. I'd like to have an attorney. Okay, so... You understand that not providing your ID, is, that's correct. I do not want to do that. If I can easily go about confirming... What is... You're easily doing it right there. A piece of paper? Again, if I'm on top of that roof... You're not on top of the roof. I don't... It doesn't matter. So when I pull up, I can't job. tell if you're Hold taking if things out. they're doing a job on that roof, or I'm doing this job right here, that's my job. 63, you have that? Step up. Lacey, supervisor, sir. 4 up.
I'm doing my job. I do it every day for all these houses. Station one three, you can clear station for. So how am I going to confirm that you're allowed to be here if you don't want to provide me so with any name? I'd like to see a supervisor. He's harassing me. He's harassing me. I'm, I'm doing my job. I'm conducting a criminal investigation. There's no, no there's criminal, criminal activity criminal. going on. We work right. for Carson. It doesn't matter whether I'm up on that roof putting a shingle on or I'm in there putting a stud on. I'm doing my job, which is to doing the cleaning up from another for? job. I just provided him the name. I was going to call my boss. He wouldn't let me do that. There is the, there's the list right there of what, what I do. Of the homes that we got. Of all, all the homes right. I do. And I are the ones talking about yeah. this. But, I've already explained to you hello? what I'm here for. So if you want to provide me with the contact that is over this construction site and I can verify that you're supposed to be here, then that's fine. I don't have a problem with that at all. But again, if you had all your materials in this building, and I was driving by and reported somebody going on the property, and then the next day some of your stuff goes missing, would you not be upset? If you're driving by, and I'm up on that route putting a shingle on, would you stop me? I mean, it all depends. Would you stop me? It all depends. It all depends. On what? If I'm putting a stud in, or a raptor in, would you stop me? You're, you're well, listen, this is... Yeah, Look, that's all the supplies from another house. You okay. see them? And again, ma'am, ma put, no, put, stop, stop, stop breaching that car. These are all parts you guys of my wonder why you need to make sure that you're We're just to be doing here. our job. We weren't okay. bothering okay. anyone. Okay. No, he was you came in when you only gave me a hard time. You went around. That's right. I was doing something else, which is none of, none, none of your business. That's so that's not your business. Oh, actually it is. Again, it is a criminal, a criminal act to be on. I'm not so doing a criminal site. act. You're on a construction site and you're not providing me with identification. You're saying I'm not allowed to be on this site. No, I'm trying We're trying to, to verify. You're allowed to be on that site. Why, that why would you verify me, but you wouldn't verify a roofer or a bricklayer? I didn't say that. I did not if, say that. If he doesn't work for this company, why do we have that paper that he has yeah. with this Every address? house in there we're building in this, in this county is right there. I, I have a dumpster over there on the other side of the highway that's full. I came and brought Sir, these over here to put them in this dumpster. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. He doesn't have to give you his license. I don't have to do actually, nothing to you. No, actually, I'm don't starting to get really you mad, do? man. You're irritating me. Well, and with the situation going on with, with the police right the now, I don't like it. Listen, you could have already been on your way. Lou. Carson? Yeah, I, I got a problem here. I'm surrounded by cops right now. They're telling me I'm not allowed to be on this property. I'm taking all the doc, uh, uh, the boxes over Chris's house where the electric's going in at. Remember I told you that the, the, the dumpster's full? And I, I, the, the one dumpster I thought was, was comfortable enough to put them in was the one down here behind Bob's TV. So, but they're harassing me like I'm, I'm some. They're going to put you under arrest. Yeah. They're conducting an investigation that I'm not allowed to be on this property. For what? He says, because I don't know what you're doing. I don't know if you work for the builder. I said, there's no difference to me being on that roof putting a shingle on or laying a block. Here's another officer right here. Sir, would you like to talk to my boss? Listen, I can hear everything he's saying. You did? Okay. But like I said, we're trying to we're just trying to verify there's doesn't there's matter, man. Him, you don't need down. to do that. Right now to me, you're harassing me. And and I want him gone. And I want to see a supervisor. I'm not leaving until I see a supervisor. Okay. I pulled up here, I'm breaking down boxes, I put them in a the dumpster. All those boxes you can see, microwave, all this uh pruning supply, they come from my house. Okay. You know, what am I doing? Stealing stuff out of there? No. I'm bringing the boxes down and putting them in there. Listen, no one said that. Yeah. Right. Oh, he did. He wanted his license or he was taking it boss, to jail. Boss, you want to talk to him? Hey, hold on. Stay over here. Then don't move because you're going to get beat first, up or you're going to hang up. All right? I'll see you in the morning. Right, now, Calm down. If you want to look at the uh, plans in there and the permit, that number I just got called, it's on there. It'll say reach the call. You show that number one there. We built all those houses. 
The house you were just at? We built that house for that lady. No. To me, that's, this has got to stop somewhere. You don't turn around and harass somebody like that. I just don't talk to him anymore. What, what you reaching at? Please. Just my cigarettes. Your cigarettes? I'll where are they at? Can I grab them for you? Yes, sir. You got a lighter in here? I got a lighter. Okay. Can you hand me my water, please? <laughs> Where's that right? In that bucket. There you go. Thank you, sir. I mean, seriously, I'm breaking out boxes, putting them in. It's not like I'm trying to steal stuff. I got you, but but we're just trying to verify that. But we told him that. You don't need to verify. He's just his license. Pulling. He is pulling okay. his little... Uh-uh. Uh-uh. So with all this shit going on right now in the United States, you ain't gonna pull your powers on me, bro. You won't do it. I will let you. So I spoke with my supervisor. I explained him how I came across this. I was about to give, give you the phone to my boss. Can you let him talk? Listen, I explained to him what's going on. He agrees that you are lawfully detained at this time because I'm conducting a criminal investigation. It is a felony to be on a uh, posted construction site, which we are. I'm not. Okay. I'm not giving a felony. I just try to prove I'm to you. Saying, about I'm, Listen, I'm not saying that you are, you but I'm investigating a, a possibility that that's what's going on. We could have already been out of here if you would have provided me with your ID and contact number. I don't think you're, you're, you're pulling your powers. I could, I get No, I'm not. Sir, you can take this phone number I just now called. It'll say recent call. Hold up, one second. You can go in that box right there and get the permit. Same numbers right there. I just now called that he just heard me talk to. Okay, and I'm going to talk on this person and say, hey, it's this guy that won't give me a It's the number that's on the permit. It's the okay. builder. That's very good, but if I don't have your name, how am I going to confirm who I'm here with? He knows who I am. Oh, I, he knows. Okay. Well, he knows again, who I am. Until I get your identification, you're being lawfully detained. The faster we get through this I like process. You, I like to have your supervisor here. Well, I just talked to him on the phone. He well, that's. Again, he you, said if you're unwilling to I don't do know. that, to arrest know. you for obstruction. So I don't want to do that. You arrest me for obstruction? So again, I just explained to you what he he, he said on the phone. Which is, I, I I want your supervisor here, please. I don't. How do I know you talked to him? Just like you're telling me, how do I know that that was my boss? Uh -uh. I want your supervisor here. I'm doing my job, buddy. Okay, then let me verify that. Jim, then. give me the phone so I can report. Are you ever gonna verify somebody else putting up shit? I brought my phone. I am going Everything's to, being recorded. I'm gonna take no, you to not court. Not you guys. I want to okay. report for myself. So how, how is it that I can verify you don't give me any information? If you have to take me to jail for not for doing my job, you go for it. My boss will get me out. Doing your job, per, not providing information, is not doing your job. And Unless that, that's part of your job. I don't have to have, I have a right not to. I have a right not to speak to a police officer. No, no. Yes, I do. Sir. I would like to when speak I'm to a lawyer from here on out. When I'm conducting, you don't want to speak to anyone? Okay. My boss will get me out. You're going to have a big problem. You got a real so big problem, I'm gonna, buddy. I'm going to run this by you again. I want, you want your supervisor here. Okay, who is the person that's in charge of this? Carson, Carson, Oxidine. Carson, what is it? Oxidine. Oxidine. And I want my paperwork back. That's that's You're private. Good. Don't worry. That's got certain numbers in there you don't need to see. I am following the right. You said there's a phone number on this side? Yes, sir. It's inside. It's on the permit. Every box has one. I stopped it right there because I want you folks to go over and salute this gentleman for saying no in the face of tyranny, for saying no, knowing he might pay a big price for protecting his freedom, because as you see, it just isn't free. I know you're wondering how this video plays out, so please follow the links and watch how it ends. The teachable moment for me was that you're not obligated to prove your innocence, or in fact, you're not obligated to assist in the matter. And if a stupid ticket cop all of a sudden want to become a detective, then you're definitely obligated to teach him how to do a proper investigation. Do decide. Until the next one, much love, blessings, peace, and always respect.